here today and we are looking at the donkey tail here that I repotted. It is actually specifically a uh, donkey tail burrito. It's a sedum hybrid. hybrid. So um, they call it saying that it has a prostrate stem with dense jelly bean leaves. Um, it works best in hanging baskets. It was in hanging basket, but I'm just putting it into a clay pot for now because it's nowhere near hanging yet. Um, by but by the end of the summer, it should be. Um, when you transplant these guys, you inevitably do get some of these that fall off, just because it's the nature of the plant. So um, that's how it's meant to propagate itself. So it's just doing what it does. Um, no matter how careful you, it is, you are, you will run into that issue. So. Um, I just want to show you guys how to know whether or not these are viable to actually um, dry out and seed or turn into a root. So basically what we're looking at is the end of, let's see if we can get it to focus, um, we're looking at end of this piece here. So specifically we're wanting to know, um, focusing on this one so specifically we want to see this little hole and this like really clean cut here and we want this to scab over before we put it into any sort of um, moist medium and then what we'll do is we'll wet this paper towel after this is scabbed over and we'll wait for roots to form so um, when we look at the actual plant itself what we're specifically looking for is this break right here you're going to break this in the center, um, at the end, or section this into multiple pieces, um, it would not propagate. So you're actually looking for this really clean break. The reason why is that the growth hormones and the cells that actually develop into um, a root system are found only on the ends of these leaves. So something similar to that of like a tomato plant where the whole stem or a potato plant where the whole stem actually contains those cells that can turn into uh, roots based on where the uh, plant is located in the soil profile. Um, this is a similar thing but the only difference is is that those growth cells and hormones are only located in the tips of these plants um, or at the base of these stalks. So if I was to actually pinch off this plant on the stem portion and pick off these uh, pieces here, you would actually see roots only ever developing out of these nodes that you can find. You'll never find uh, roots developing from the bottom of the stem or from the stalk in between the nodules. So you'll only find it in those specific spots because that those are the only spots where um, those cell cells are located. So um, just a neat little fact. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. I know there's lots of videos on how to do uh, propagate succulents and everything, but um, and you can look those up, but I don't know how many actually explain where the root cells are located and why it's important to keep that in mind when you are dealing with these guys. So um, have a great weekend, evening, morning, whatever the case might be. Peace, love, and plants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I actually just forgot um, part of this is that they, these guys are actually, um, because they are a sedum hybrid, they do really well indoors all year for people in those northern climates that do have to bring um, their, their succulents inside. I know a lot of people have issues keeping them alive, but these uh, donkey tail um, donkey tail succulents, I guess you could call them. Um, they do well in just window light, so they don't need to be kept under growth lights or anything like that. They actually do well hanging in a window, um, so keep that in mind. Like, if you do see these and you do have issues keeping your succulents alive during the winter, like, it's not nothing to do with you. It has probably more to do with the area you're in, and these guys are, are really great in that instance. So um, also keep that in mind as well. So I just thought I'd add that part, being that I'm from Canada, and I have a lot of friends that love succulents, but they have a heck of a time keeping them. These are, these are a great choice for that. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.